And in this extreme heat, animal shelters and service centers are faced with a tough problem, making sure the animals get some outside time without overheating. Yeah, News 19's Alexa Harley talked to the staff at Huntsville Animal Services about how they're adapting to this intense temperature. If dogs could talk, they would probably agree this is one of the hottest summers ever. But the folks at the Huntsville Animal Shelter are doing what they can to make sure dogs still get to go outside, but are keeping safe from the extreme heat. The goal is that each dog gets some daily outside exposure, but with triple digits outside, Director of Huntsville Animal Service Dr. Karen Shepard says she and her staff pay even closer attention to the animals. So we watch them. If they're panting excessively, they're going to come in, whether it's 30 seconds or three minutes. We have large pools with water, clean water in it, and so that is really helpful. They'll go get in it and drink. But yeah, when they lay down and they're panning, they got to come in. And much like humans, the risk of overheating is similar in man's best friend. It tends to be the younger animals and the older animals or animals with other health conditions, but heat, heat exhaustion. I mean, it's, that's the scariest thing. And before they know it, they're in, um, you know, respiratory distress just from being way overheated. And in the summer months, they actually tend to see more dogs brought in. In the longer days in the summer, we take in more animals. Dogs, it's fairly consistently consistent every month, but it's about 20% more June, July, August, September. Shepard also says for pet owners at home that if you are going to let your dog outside, make sure they have some dense shade from a tree and maybe something like a tarp as well. Reporting in Huntsville, Alexa Harley, News 19.